This video is examples part three of section 3.5. So here my denominator, the degree of my denominator is one, so I'll be dividing every term by x equal to one. So that means this radical term divided by x over x divided by x minus four divided by x. Again, we can bring this x inside the radical but it will become x squared when we do that. And if I reduce this, I get one, and four over x stays four over x. Oh, I am missing my notation here. And I almost missed it here. So then we get um, x squared over x squared would just be one, and then we'll have four over x squared. And then as x goes to infinity, this will go to zero and this will go to zero, leaving me with the square root of one minus zero over one minus zero, which is the square root of one over one, one over one, which equals one. So my limit here is one. Here it's a little bit harder. For to find your degree, you have to remember that you have an x squared raised to the 2 thirds. So when you have powers like this, you multiply those powers, which means I really have x to the 4 thirds there in the denominator. So the degree of my denominator is x to the 4 thirds. Or I'm sorry, it's just 4 thirds, just the exponent. But that means I will be dividing each term by x to the 4 thirds. So let's do that. We have x squared over x to the 4 thirds plus 5 x to the 4 thirds. And then we have um, x squared plus 3 raised to the 2 thirds divided by x to the four thirds. So then my numerator, if I reduce those, two minus four thirds is x to the two thirds. This is gonna stay five x to the four thirds. These are both under a cube, under a cube like this. What you have here is x squared plus three squared over an x to the fourth. Now, oops, before I forget my notation, don't wanna move on just yet, okay. Now, if I wanna simplify that denominator, I am gonna to have to expand this binomial here. So I'm gonna get x to the fourth plus six x squared plus nine if I FOIL these this out. Remember, it's an x squared plus three times another x squared plus three. So x to the fourth, three x squared, three x squared plus nine, which is where um, I got these terms from, just by combining those two terms. And then if I reduce each one of these with the x to the fourth in the denominator. We end up with one plus six over x squared plus nine over x to the fourth. Then again, as x goes to infinity, this fraction will go to zero, this fraction will go to zero, this fraction will go to zero. However, anything raised to a power, a positive number raised to a power, if x is going to infinity, then when I raise it to an exponent, that will also go to infinity. So here I'll end up with infinity plus zero over the cube root of one plus zero plus zero, which means I get uh, infinity over the cube root of one, which is infinity over one, which is just infinity.